How's it going, guys? My name is Brian Burtis, and I'm going to be delivering my final speech to you guys today, all about uh, how to live like a cheap local in Breckenridge. So, as many of you guys know, this area is pretty expensive to live in, and uh, it can be hard to have a good time on a budget, especially if you're a Vail employee, like many people are up here. That you don't get paid very much and uh, it's hard to get by. So I'm here to talk about um, some good places to find entertainment, food, and drinks for a reasonable price. Um, so we're going to begin with the drinks and luckily for you guys there is a free keg or some sort of happy hour deal almost every night of the week. Um, <laughs> So, with over 30 bars on Main Street um, alone, you're never short for an option to find a good place to drink. And it begins on Monday nights uh, at the Gold Pan, where you can get 25 cent beers and then bring it up to the Breckenridge Brewery for dollar beers for the rest of the night, which is a pretty good deal because the Breck Brewery's got a lot of good local brews. Um, and then you can finish it off with a power hour at Cecilia's for a dollar premium drinks from 11 to midnight. Tuesday night is when the free kegs begin. Free kegs at Uller's at 7 o'clock and then bring it over to Cecilia's at 9 o'clock for another free keg. It's fantastic. <laughs> Wednesday is Wu-Tang Wednesday which starts at 9 o'clock with free 40 ounce beers at Liquid Lounge. A happy hour at the Dredge from 9 to 11 dollar high lifes as well as a happy hour at Mikasa um, which is actually daily from 3 to 6 five dollar pitchers and free nachos at 5 o'clock which is pretty good. Thursday night uh, is when the weekend really starts you can go down to Blue River Bistro get your two for ten dollar martinis which is a pretty good deal they also have um, really good appetizers in particular the deep fried ravioli that is bomb. Friday and Saturday, there's a free keg at Jake's Dive Bar um, from 9 to 11 both nights, as well as it's ladies' night at Napper Tandy's from 9 to 11, so ladies drink free. Now I'll talk about some food options. And according to the Gallup poll, young adults aged 18 to 29 spend an average of $173 a week on food. So if you're living up here and you want to f try and find a way to cut a few of those dollars, there's two free dinners offered every week, Sunday and Tuesday night. The Sunday one is on the corner of Wellington and Harris, and the Tuesday one is on the corner of French and Lincoln. Both of them start at six o'clock and go for an hour. You can get free food, a uh, really good home cooked meal, and then you can actually get food to take home as well. And the church on Sundays also opens their doors on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to noon. They open their pantry for anyone that's looking for some extra food for the week. So that's pretty good too. Um, some other free food options or good food options include some happy hours like Northside. They have uh, two for one appetizers from three to six daily as well. Casa has, like I said earlier, five dollar wing baskets and five dollar pitchers as well as free nachos. <laughs> Where can you find that dang Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. Ooh. well, you could go to. Breck Cannabis Club as long as it doesn't get voted down and denied access on Main Street. Or you could go to Organics you down on be. Airport Road. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Organics is really good. They have a nice locals discount. Another good deal is the Workman Special at Empire Burger. You can get a burger, beer, and fries for $9 from 11 to 3 on weekdays. It's one of my personal favorites. The mango chutney sauce and the jalapeno ranch is a great sauce to add to your burger. As long as you uh, don't get arrested for a fake ID and get a restraining <laughs> order put against you. Yeah, that, that'd probably help. And lastly, the last subject before we get, get here uh, to peak eight is fun stuff to do in Breckenridge, such as Dew Tour this weekend. That's free. As well as Uller Fest, which happens in January. That's another good event. Uh, consists of a parade, a bonfire, um, the world's longest shot ski, which they try to break that record every year. So that's always fun to be a part of. Summer activities such as the U.S. Pro Cycling Challenge, which comes through in August, 
that's a pretty big event. Town gets pretty pumped about that. And then uh, in the fall, obviously the most fun event is Oktoberfest. Lots of good drinking, music, and uh, good things to do. And all of those events are free. Good, uh, good times right there. So in conclusion, there's plenty of places to get good food and drink in this town for a reasonable price. And there's also lots of fun events to do. And you don't have to spend a fortune. <laughs>